Hello there, it's me, Sari here again, and today I thought I'd give you an update of what I've been working on since last with my album. I have such a horrendous handwriting, so I decided on using my computer to make stamp-looking, wonderful quotes. And in this case I have made them in Swedish, but I just thought I'd uh, let you in on what I have written. So this one says, believe in yourself and your ability even in moments when nobody else does. I mean, it's always easier to believe in, believe in oneself when somebody's cheering you on now, isn't it? So this is a really good reminder for me to actually believe in myself, even in my worst moments. And here I made something about that the past cannot be changed. You can't edit it, you can't forget it, or you can't erase it. The only thing you can do, really, to accept it. So you, you've got what you got and you just have to make the best of it now, don't you? And this one says, if I hadn't made the mistakes I have made, I wouldn't be the one that I am right now. And it's a shame now, isn't it? Because I sort of like myself. That is what I actually tell myself when I do. This one says, forgive them, forgive those who have hurt you, not because they deserve it, but in order for you to actually be able to carry on or go on, move on. And here is something I just kept as it is. And here I decided on making a funny page to this one. If heat makes things expand, well, then I don't longer, no longer have an, uh, an overweight issue. I'm just hot. Oh. <laughs> and I thought that was really clever. And this one says that your inner beauty never me needs any makeup. And uh, usually I go out without any makeup, so I thought that was, that was a bit cheeky to put there. But I thought I'd, I think I'm going to pass it anyway. I'm pass with it. And this, in this case, I've actually taken down uh, quite a few quotes into one page. Life is too short to dwell on things that have actually gone wrong. Instead, you ought to look at them as experiences. And then the one with the label font there says, uh, Don't have as many musts as you have now. And do more of things that make you happy. And dare to go outside your comfort zone. Use your strengths. You can do more than you believe. Forgive and be grateful for what you have learned today. Inspire others. Don't let fear control you. Laugh uncontrollably. Dance and sing, even if somebody is watching you. That is a bit of a dare, I think. Be happy about every time you have had a chance of, of smiling, actually. And, ex and appreciate the small things, because they are, in the end, the big things. And in this case, this one says, because, you know, it was the license plate here, which says, I am me, and me here, or oh my, says, stands for Milano in Italy. So I just thought that I am me, it's a funny thing there, be yourself, and then I've made something here that life is too short to be something else than yourself. There is also another quote saying that be yourself, everybody else is taking, so taken, so it's sort of in the same category there. And uh, well, when it comes to good food, I do like these wonderful breads that have, are made with oatmeal and such. And I decided on putting the recipe there, and it was a good, clever move, I think. Because if I'm going to carry this book with me as a reminder of things that I have done and things I want to do, well, perhaps this bread pops up in my mind as I want to do. And uh, here uh, it's a blueberry cleansing situation and appreciate the small things because they are the big things in the end. And here is the Indian food that I like and, uh, well, the one who is a master of her, his or her vices is a slave to his common sense. And here is just a reminder for me to actually take part of life and uh, enrich in my everyday by fishing, taking walks, um, hanging out with friends, laughing and cooking vegetarian food. And uh, there are two things that actually define you as a person. Your patience when you have nothing and your attitude when you've got it all. 
And here is something about happiness. Happiness isn't a destination that you are going to reach. It's a way to travel on. And uh, here we have that wonderful tool up. Uh, a smile is a, is a lovely wrinkle that actually uh, smoothens out the other ones. And that's true, I suppose. And, uh, well, here I am, a bit dull looking. Do more of things that make you happy. So I thought that was a bit clever there. And then I haven't got a picture here, but I thought I'd put this one in, in anyway. Uh, becoming of age, or actually getting older, is like climbing a mountain. You do get a bit flustered, um, but you get a much better view. So that is one of the reasons that I've always wanted to grow older, because I do know that the more I do, I think, the more things I do in life, the more I will learn and the more I will know in the end. And here is that wonderful scenic picture, and uh, this is a saying that says, if something is important for you, make sh you, you, you're going to make, make it work. And if it isn't that important, you will make an excuse now, don't you? Or won't you? Here's something about worry. To worry is like sitting in a rocking chair. It'll give you something to do, that's right, but you don't, don't get anywhere now, will you? And I haven't got anything special here, nor here. And every choice you make is an evaluation of yourself. And about happiness yet once more, always take out happiness in advance. Because the worst thing that can happen is that you have been happy uh, without, without a reason. And <laughs> I think that is a good saying, really. I'm just thinking that they, it seems like there are two pages here, but it just is one. Right? Uh, being happy isn't doesn't mean that everything is perfect all the time. It's more about... You having learned a different way of looking at things and appreciating them for what they are. I haven't got anything here. And I just thought this picture is just wonderful. It's, an, uh, it's a postcard really. But this one is just wonderful. And I thought that taking, appreciating an, a friendship that isn't that um, usual... It can actually enrich in your life more than you think. So I'm just making sure that I appreciate the friendships that I've got. Even if they are small or uh, not that often. And uh, go out in the, in the nature. Listen to the birds twitter or tweet. Turn yourself against the sun and let the sun warm. Heat up your skin and warm your skin I think. Everything feels better after a brisk walk. So that isn't a quote, it's actually something that I wrote for myself. Let's see now. So, laughter, John Cleese, is a sort of a tranquilizer without any side effects. And about the photo walks here, it doesn't matter how slowly you run. You will still um, pass them. Just uh, if you are imagining running around in a circle or something. I mean, the ones sitting here, sitting. You listen, sitting. You will still pass them, even if you are walking or something, taking things really slowly. You will still outpass them who are sitting down and doing nothing. And then I haven't done anything more. So I think this is a better way for me to actually get the things that I want to say said and I think it's really nice to play with different fonts and I would love to have these as stamps because I can see myself using them on car handmade cards or even uh, art journaling and such. So that's a little bit from me and I do believe that I'll be continuing working with this one throughout the fall actually. So I'm going to sign off right now and I do hope that you are going to make your own sort of smash look, smash book kind of Project Life mini album. I do like these. But if you're going to make one, please make one with a hidden binding. Because you see, it's a bit out of order. I mean, it, 
you can't really handle it as well as you uh, I would like to. It sort of fans out here. I really am thinking of actually turning this one into a hidden bound album as well. But I'm a bit, a bit afraid of the thickness of the pages that if I'm going to be able to make it or not, I just have to think about what I'm going to do. So I'm going to sign off right now. Bye bye.